May God bless our lives in this prayer campaign. In Psalm 91, we are praying and seeking the Lord in this wonderful campaign, and may God grant you good health, prosperity, victories, and blessings. May God fulfill the desires of your heart and grant you great triumphs. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments. Also, don't forget to click like to support and strengthen our channel. We are here every day, praying and seeking the face of our mighty God. Today marks the seventh day of our Psalm 91 campaign, and we will be reading verse 7. Please feel free to share this prayer with your friends. It will surely be a blessing in their lives. Verse 7 of Psalm 91 says, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Repeat. This beautiful verse with me, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Glory to God for this word. We can see here a biblical promise for our lives. Everything that the Bible says, everything that the Bible reveals, is for our lives. The blessings of Psalm 91 are upon us, and verse 7 is one of several blessings described in this powerful psalm. God is telling us that even if a thousand fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, we will not be harmed. This signifies the greatness, power, and glory of our God. With God, we are stronger than any army. With God, we are stronger than hell. With God, we are stronger than any evil work. The God who is with us is the Almighty God, the one who is powerful to save, heal, deliver, transform, and perform great miracles in our lives. When I talk about God's protection over us, this verse 7 reveals the love, the special care that God has for you. God is saying, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but you will not be harmed. There is spiritual protection over your life 24-7. God is defending you, sending mighty angels to guard you. When we talk about this protection, it reminds me of a very interesting biblical story. Written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 36. The Bible talks about a wicked king named Sennacherib, who made an evil plan to destroy God's people. He planned to enter Jerusalem and destroy the chosen people. However, he didn't know that he was messing with the wrong people. The Christian has an owner. My sister and my brother, you have an owner, and the name of this faithful owner who protects and defends you is God, the Almighty God. God doesn't lend, rent, or give away. You and I are exclusive properties of God, and whoever touches you, touches God himself. Anyone who touches God's people will be held accountable by the Almighty God. And Sennacherib made this plan to enter Jerusalem to destroy the city. When King Hezekiah heard this news, he went to talk to God, he went to speak to the Advocate of Advocates. He went before the Lord and spoke the following words in verse 14 of chapter 37, receiving. Therefore, the letters from the hand of the messengers, Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord. And Hezekiah spread them out. Before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who is enthroned above the cherubim, you are. The God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, you have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear, open your eyes. O Lord, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to mock the living God. Sennacherib didn't know the great problem he was getting himself into, as he was trying to destroy God's people. A thousand may fall. At your side, my sister, ten thousand at your right hand, but you will not be harmed. Do you know what God did? God raised the prophet Isaiah to prophesy. And in verse 33 of chapter 37 of Isaiah, 
it says, Therefore thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city or shoot an arrow there, or come before it with a shield or cast up a siege mound against it. By the way that he came, by the same he shall return, and he shall not come into this city, declares the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it, for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. And the Bible says in verse 36, Then the angel of the Lord went out and struck down in the camp of the Assyrians one hundred and eighty-five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead bodies. In other words, God sent a mighty angel, a powerful one, to wage war against King Sennacherib's army. The Bible tells us that just one angel destroyed one hundred and 85,000 enemy warriors. Behold the power, the devastation that just one angel can bring. My brothers and sisters, whoever touches you, touches God himself. Sennacherib felt the heavy hand of the Lord descending upon him because nothing and no one can destroy those whom God has chosen. Nothing and no one can hinder those whom God has chosen. If people are trying to stop you, they will not succeed. God's promise will be fulfilled in your life. If people desire your downfall, they will not see you fall, instead, they will see God honor you, exalt you, and grant you victory. Every promise that God has made to you will be fulfilled in your life. And if the enemy is fighting against your household, your family, or you, the enemy will be brought to nothing, and they will flee in seven directions because God has chosen you to be victorious. Just as God sent a warrior angel to defend the people of Israel, He is also sending warrior angels to defend you. God is sending warrior angels to guard your home and protect your life. Therefore, do not be afraid, for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one who is and always will be the same yesterday, today, and forever, is the faithful, just, and true God. He is taking control of this war, and in this battle, you will not fight. God will fight for you. He will wage war for you, and He will give you victory. He will deliver healing to you, He will restore your marriage. God is coming to meet you, to fight on your behalf, and the victory is ours through the blood of Jesus. Place your hand on your heart and repeat this phrase with all your faith, though a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, I will not be harmed because God is with me. Type in the comments, God is with me, and I will not be harmed. Amen. Take possession of this word, take possession of this word of victory for yourself. Psalm 91, verse 7 says, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. And at this moment, I want to pray for your life. I want to pray for you, so that God may strengthen you more and more each day. If you need a job, let's pray for that door to open. Take your work documents and place them under your knees, and let's pray together for that door to open, and the name of the Lord be glorified in your victory. If you need restoration in your marriage, take your wedding rings, place them under your knees, and pray together with me. If you need deliverance, if you seek transformation, if you desire blessings in the life of your child, if you long for your child's liberation, take a photo of your children and place it under your knees. We will pray at this moment, we will ask, we will cry out, and God will ignite a movement of fire, a movement of glory, and this situation will be resolved, and victory will be in the palm of your hand. And the name of the Lord will be glorified. Amen. And now, let us pray to the Almighty God, the Sovereign and Eternal Father, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. In your holy and powerful presence, we stand here. In this prayer campaign, on the seventh day of prayer, we trust in your power. We rely on your grace. 
revealed to us in this marvelous prayer campaign. You are the just and faithful God, the true God, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the one who died on the cross but rose again on the third day. You are the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, the Lamb of God, the bright and morning star. Your eyes are like flames of fire, and your feet are like burnished bronze. You are dressed in white garments, whiter than snow, and on your head, there is a crown of glory. Written on your right thigh is the title, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. As described by John in the book of Revelation, such is your glory. And in this Psalm 91 campaign, the Lord has revealed Himself to us through His Word, through our prayers. He has performed wonders in our lives, and He will continue to do many more miracles and marvels. In this sacred moment, in this powerful prayer moment of the Psalm 91 campaign, I present the lives of those who are listening to me. I present the life of my sister, my brother, who has been seeking this victory, seeking deliverance, seeking you, Lord, for answers. Because we know that only you can make the impossible, the unprecedented, the unbelievable happen. It is in this Psalm 91 campaign, Lord, that you may strike the gavel and decree victory over the lives of my brothers and sisters who are listening to me at this hour. God, in the name of Jesus, bring peace, providence, anointing, power, and refreshment. Bring unity, conviction, and faith to their hearts. Lift up those who have fallen, strengthen those who are weary. Lord Jesus, I present before you all the prayer requests. We can no longer do it ourselves. You can, we no longer accomplish it, but you do. We are small, but you are great. We are flawed, but you are perfect. We are weak, but you are strong, and we can do all things because you strengthen us. Everything we have, everything we will have, everything we are, and everything we will be comes from you. It comes from your light, your grace, your power, and your mercy. We did not deserve anything, but through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, you have made us worthy of them. Blessings of God's inheritance and promise. By your grace, we are alive, and your grace sustains us, making us breathe every day. For this reason, we thank you, Lord, for the air we breathe. We thank you for this seventh day of the campaign. We thank you because you have heard our prayers and worked miracles in each of our lives. We thank you because you are faithful to do the impossible. And at this moment, I want to present the financial situation of your people. I lift up the lives of my sister and my brother who need employment. God, in the name of Jesus, may you open the door of employment and may your name be glorified in their financial lives. I present the financial and professional lives of your servants. May you prosper them, God. Your daughter and son who have distributed resumes to various companies, may you bring favor in the eyes of the employers, so they may hire your servants, and wherever they work, may they shine as a light. I present all those who own a business. May the Lord prosper the sales of their companies. May the Lord bring new clients, abundance, and prosperity to the lives of those who listen to me and are entrepreneurs. I also lift up, Lord, the love lives of those who are single and seeking a serious relationship leading to marriage. May you bless the romantic lives of those who are single and desire the blessing of matrimony. God, I present those who are already in a relationship, those who are dating, engaged, and about to get married. May the Lord open doors and grant the victory of a happy and blessed marriage. I also present those who are married, and may the Lord bless them with unity, love, faith, and understanding, and may your name be 
glorified. I present the sons and daughters of each of your servants who listen to me. May the Lord bless, prosper, liberate, transform, and grant powerful victories, always providing deliverance. Lord, I especially present the spiritual lives of your people. Grant them more strength to pray. Grant them more strength to study your word. Grant your people more strength each day, in the name of Jesus. Christ, God. May every curse be broken, and every evil spell be undone, and may the Lord release great blessings and victories. Health, peace, and prosperity in the lives of those participating in this campaign. Holy Spirit of Truth, fulfill in us, Lord, the blessings of Psalm 91. As we read today in verse 7, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand. At your right hand, but it will not come near you. May the Lord protect us every day. May the Lord defend us, be our shield each day. And grant victory to your people. Grant a great and powerful victory. Grant an immediate victory to those who are seeking. God, behold. The prayers and tears of your servant. May every tear shed be transformed into victory. May every tear shed be turned into. Blessings. May every tear shed be transformed into happiness, and may your name be glorified and magnified in the great victory that you will grant to your sons and daughters. God, in the name of Jesus, we know that you are building a testimony of blessing and victory in each life. And when this testimony is shared, many will fear and know that you are the God who blesses your servants. Lord Jesus, Bless everyone who is participating in this campaign. Bless them in all areas, in their finances, in their spirituality, in their relationships, in their health, and in their families. May every illness fall to the ground, bringing healing, liberation, and transformation in the life of each one. We ask this with all our faith. And we thank you in advance because the power, glory, and dominion are yours forever, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we ask and thank you. Amen and thanks be to God. Place your hand on your heart and repeat this phrase with me, The blessings of Psalm 91 are upon my life, and nothing can harm me. Because God is with me. Amen. Take hold of your victory. God is with you. A big hug to your heart, and may the peace of the Lord Jesus reign in our lives until the next day of our powerful campaign.